Hello, and welcome to another session of Game Dev Tycoon. I played this like three years ago, and I felt like I want to play it again, mainly because I downloaded uh, Game Dev for, what does it say? Game Studio Tycoon 2 on the iPhone. I was playing that on my phone, and I was like, oh my god, I remember this series. Let's fucking do it again. So here we are. We're making another one. Another series on Game Dev Tycoon. All right, let's do this. Before you can start an adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Best. We're gonna make the best games. Ha! <laughs> best games. There we go. <laughs> Unlock hints. Sure. All right. So here we are. What is this music, dude? Can we turn this down? Jesus. Settings. Music. Let's turn that down. There we go. That's better. Okay. Develop a new game. All right. So our first game is going to be Blooper Doopers. It should be a cyberpunk action game. I should go on the PC because PC Master Race. Oh shit, I have a bracket. Hang on, go back. Delete. There we go. Blooper Dupers. 2D graphics. Let's see how this goes. $15,000. Okay, this is very different from the, the, the Game Studio one. What does this mean? Does it mean I want more engine? Like that, and then less story quest? I guess. I'm just taking a guess here. I honestly don't know how to... <laughs> Great, we're going. Uh, we're just gonna. We're gonna go with that, dude. I forgot how to play this game. I forgot like what's a good combo, what's not a good combo, and shit like that. It's very different from the iPhone one. Uh, graphic, world design, I guess. God, that took 5k for Dev Stage Three. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, let's get some bugs fixed. Oh yeah, dude, no bugs. Finish. Experience gain. Aw, shit. Dude, new topic, new combo. Look at that. Look at my engine and gameplay and story quest. And... Okay. Alright. Artificial intelligence, world design, graphic. Sound. Spoon. Oh, dude. That sounds like a good one. Oh, let's see what happens. The first review is for a newly released game, Blooper Dupers, came in. Okay, here we go. Oh! Meh! Fuck you, Star Games! Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see how it is. No one likes Blooper Dupers. It has its moments. Thanks, Game Hero. Haven't seen better. Alright. Oh, well, we're gonna step up our game then. Research. New topic. Race military. There we go. Game engine. Start research. Best games. A newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Blooper Dupers. <laughs> the game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what best games will deliver in the future. I mean, with the name of the best gays. Gays? Hello? Best games. Um, You know, you should come out with... Hey, we made it on the charts. 91. We should come out with the best games, you know? That's a bold statement. Blooper Dupers now have seven fans. Thanks, seven fans. It's like my YouTube channel nowadays, dude. I have like seven people. Research complete. You have successfully researched a new topic, military. Thanks. Can we research some more? Game engine. Oh, I don't have 50 roleplay points. Okay. Oh, I don't have any of those either. Oh, research points. That's... Generate game report. Select. Do I want to do that? Oh! Oh, and so I could research some more. I don't think I ever did that in my last playthrough. Plus, now this is blooper duper complete. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk and, and action is a great combination. Graphics seem to be quite important for this type of game. Story quests seem to be quite. Oh! Rip. I kind of went the other. I went the other way. Uh, research. Let's research racing, shall we? Yeah.
Just so we have, you know, more. Um... You have successfully researched a new topic, racing. Yes! Alright. Let's, uh, develop a new game. Um... Vroom Vroom. That's our racing game. Racing dog. Uh, simulation, simulation, and then a simulation on the PC because we're PC Master Race. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. 2D graphics. Super Duper's is now off the market. It sold 6,000, generating 42,000 sales. That's not too bad. I mean, yeah, it is. Gameplay, yes, dude. Engine, story, quest, and eh, stories and racing games don't really go together. Am I right? Or maybe. I don't know, we'll bring that up just a tiny bit. It's the sliders that pretty much throw me off at this game, but I think... Level design, you want level design, artificial intelligence, the AI, and dial... Uh, like about halfway, right? About halfway. Recent studies suggest that, uh... Govador, Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Uh, oh shit. Uh oh. No, PC, dude. We want room, room graphics and sound, dude, and world design. We want some of that too, so let's bring that up, bro. Yeah. I think this is gonna be a good racing game. I hope. <laughs> Get those bugs cleaned out, dude. Get those bugs out. Yeah, good job. Finish. Oh, hell yeah. New topic. New combo. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Now we're rolling. Release game. Vroom Vroom came in. Oh! I saw 10. I like it. Oh! We have trust in Star Games now. Shows potential. Thank you, Informed Gamer. See, we're getting better. Racing and simulation is a great combination. Got a seven, dude. A seven. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. There we go. So, Vroom Vroom. Vroom Vroom did pretty good, if you ask me. Let's uh, generate game report. According to the room, room, rumors of a Japanese company, Ninvento is planning <laughs> to launch its very own home gaming console. If you're wondering why my mouse is doing this, it's because I'm shaking my leg. You can't see me because I don't have a webcam. <laughs> but Dinky King? All right, dude. Many industry industry experts doubt that the home gaming console will take off, but we're eager to see what happens. Oh. All right. Hey, we have 20 fans, chat. Chat? I'm not even streaming. Jesus, I stream too much. Over 10k units sold, dude! Woo! We're rank 46. Nice. Room Room is complete, and we got a uh, story and quest. Seem to be uh, okay. Okay. Uh, research. Let's research a new topic. Zombies. Yeah, dude. Let's make a zombie game. People like zombie games, right? I think a lot of people like zombie games. It was successfully research a new topic. Zombies. Okay. Research. New topic. School. Barf. Uh, transport. Movies. Sure, we'll go with movies. I don't know how this is going to go. Like, movies? Like, what do you... Huh? TES early next year. Ooh. Should we make a game for the TES? They're successfully researched. New topic. <laughs> okay. Room Room is now off the market. Damn, 103,000 in sales, dude. Holy shit. Develop a new game. All right. Zombie Shooter Extreme. There we go. Pick topic. Zombies. Uh, action. G64. There we go. So 
So we made PC games, but now we're doing this, dude. Engine gameplay must be up. Story quests. Zombie shooter extreme. That sounds like a 70s game, right? Are we even in the 70s? I don't even know. Artificial intelligence. You don't need dialogue and zombie shooters. All you need is right. Uh, world design. See, graphics should be up there, and sound should be up there. Same with world design. I, th I think all of them should be up there. You know, you wanna wanna make the world look pretty good. You know, right? Right? I think. Hey, right? that makes sense. Get those bugs out. Hell yeah. Boom. British game. Getting experience. That's good. We're getting experience. New combo. Okay, all these are going up. Level design is going up. That's great. Alright, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> oh, the TES just fucking released. Well, we should have made fucking zombie shooter extreme for the TES. But, I guess we kind of just... You know, went a little early. I saw that! Ten! Eight! Seven! Their focus on level design served this game very well. <sighs> yeah. Quirky, but good. Thanks. Uh, shows potential. Game Hero, can you come up with another fucking review? I like it. Damn right, you like it. We're the best games, dude. Hi there, I just finished uh, Zombie Shooter Extreme and I am impressed by your talent. I am a contracted business and we could use yours we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and I will I will see if I have some work for you. Oh contract work. Generate game report. I should probably do that after like the game sells, right? I think that's what I should have done. I just want to do so much research. Okay. Nice. Find contract work. Let's do it. Uh oh. Hopefully we can do it. Oh god, the time is going down so fast, dude. Come on. We can do it. We got it. Whew. Yeah, we got it. 17k to your account. Jason here, I just got word from a client that your contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have some new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Okay, thanks, man. Um, Research. New engine? No. Do some more of this. We should research a new engine, huh? Damn. Damn, Zombie Shooter Extreme, you're doing really good. Business. Find contract work. Okay. Eight came off the let's my contract work. Get my design and shit out, dude. Oh shit, this is cutting it close. Oh! What? Are you kidding me? That was so close, man! F you! Piece of shit. Hospital. Do hospital. We can do hospital simulation. Ugh. I don't know how that would go, honestly. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, you know. Let's, uh, make a new game. Hospital. Is that even how you. No? How you spell it? Bro. Am I dumb? 
Hospi- Oh, I put host. <laughs> God damn it, I did it again. Hospital. The heroes. There we go. Hospital heroes, dude. Hospital simulation. Uh, TES, dude. $80,000 for a fucking... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I've... No! Oh shit, gameplay, story, quest, engine, uh... If I go below 50k, dude, that could be... That could be the end of me. This is not good. Oh, fuck. Come on, hospital heroes, you better do so good. You Fucking asshole. Ah, oh, we're getting so low. Ah! <laughs> oh, we're at 24k, bro. We're fine. We're fine. You're overreacting, chat. Chat. YouTube. Guys. And girls. Fix that bug. Finish. Please sell well. Please, for the love of God, just sell well. New record. Okay. New combo. Oh, we're leveling up now. Oh, yes, dude. We're doing it. Look at that. Release game. Please do good. <coughs> uh, the first reviews for our newly released game, Hospital Heroes, came in. Oh, nice experience. Beautiful. Hell yes. We got an eight. What? Quirky, but good. Okay, okay. Sell a lot. Oh, we're 40k, dude. Oh, yes. Okay. Whoo. Whoo, we made it back. Research. Game dev. Hmm. Who would play one of those games? Damn hospital heroes, you're doing good now, dude. Ooh. That $80,000 contract, dude. Fucking destroyed us almost. Generate game report. Whew! Get some research. See what people like. Hospital and simulation is great. Though. Story of quest. Okay, okay. I got it. Oh. Okay. Or in contract work. I think we can do this. Maybe 23k. Okay, maybe not. Two hundred fourteen thousand in sales, dude. Holy shit. Oh god, please. Please go, 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 go. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, I can't do any contract work because I apparently suck. Target audience. Okay. 30k? What the fuck? Master V. Man. <laughs> 8k monthly. What the fuck? Where do I live? California? All right. Research. Dance. I guess. Oh, well, well, dance. What would that go under? 
would that go under like action? I don't even know. Well, let's make a dance game. Uh, dance me. <laughs> dance. E for everyone. Uh, simulation, I guess. I... Dance with the TES, I guess. Would that even work? For some reason, I don't think this is going to work. Gameplay. Story and quest don't really have anything to do with dancing. I guess. I don't care about that console. World design. We need sound, it's a dance game, so we need good music in there. Right? Ah, oh, fix those bugs. Bugs are fixed. Dance. Hey, new record, new combo. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if this is gonna go well. Oh. Dance came in. Oh. oh hey, that's not bad. <laughs> okay. An eight? What the? F okay, man. Could have been better. All games, I'm about to fucking smack you, dude. Aw, oh, damn, dude. Let's make a new game while well, that's just sitting there. Let's make a... Actually, no. Let's research a new topic. Law. Sure. Dance me. Should we make a sequel called Dance You. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, research. New topic. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, generate game report, I guess. Oh, it's good. I guess young ones would like it better. Let's do this. Let's let's uh, develop a game. No, let's let's research a new game topic. Surgery. Sure. Let's get surgery. We should probably save for a new engine. New research available. Casual game. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Damn. All right, we have two seventy four point two K. It's not bad. All right, let's let's make a game. Let's make casual games. Fuck, we don't have enough. All right, let, let's let's develop a new game. Okay, let's do this. Let's do... What do we have? Topic. Horror. Let's do... Sp spooky. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just do a spooky adventure game, okay? Let's... <laughs> uh... Oh shit. Let's do an action 
It's a horror action game. There we go. Spooky. Alright. Make it mature. Because it's a horror game. And horror games normally like being very mature. So I think in general the gameplay, the story quest don't really matter, it's a spooky game. <coughs> I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Um Yeah. Oh a portable Game Boy. Gameling, my bad. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Graphics and sound, dude. Yeah. I think world design will be pretty Hi, I'm Steve Carell. Oh, Steve Connell. Conal. Whatever. A reporter for Planet GG. We heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Give interview. Great. Thank you for your time. We'll publish the interview next week. Okay, cool. Damn, dude. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Best Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first targeted uh, mature players. We think that, that the players are looking for more mature content in games, and we'll be willing to take that risk to give it to them. Hell yeah. Many industry experts say that sooner than later, sooner or later, games with mature things will become more common. We are curious to see how the Ho oh, oh, ho, I'm like Mortal Kombat, dude. Oh, it has hype! Hype 11! Yeah, put a little more design in there, dude. Yeah. I don't care, shut up. Finish. Oh, new record! I don't really remember seeing a horror game on the Nintendo console, though, so... I don't know if that matters. <clears throat> Release game. Spooky came in. Oh! What? I just saw, like, eights and nines for a long time, and you're just gonna... What? F you, dude! Have seen better? Oh, bitch, I'm the first one who ever came out with a horror game. Okay? Fucking dick. You know what? Fuck consoles. We're doing PC games. I love a new game. Spooky remastered. Mature. Pick topic. Horror. Yeah. Adventure. Motherfucker. And we're gonna go with PC. Because fuck you. Okay? This game's gonna be a lot better than on the TES. Cause F that! It's bullshit! The chosen platform! <gasps> so the platform does matter! PC matters. Okay, so it goes by like real shit. Seems like. Wow, Spooky got moderate reviews because it's not good for the platform. Wow, F U T E S. We'll start making like casual Mario games that are fun though. F U. Here we go. Marketing. Nice. We'll research that. We'll make our own engine first, though. Bam. Spooky remastered. Yes! Okay. We got a new record. <clears throat> See how this goes. Come on, Spooky remastered. Do better than 54,000 sales. Oh! 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 <laughs> You see that? See Spooky Remastered. 10. Give me a 10. You fucking dick. Give me a 10. Fuck you. 8. That's alright. 